Hi everybody, this is Lee of CJ Drill. Now I want to tell you what you're looking at here. This represents the outside corner of a wall and it's an exact 90 degrees. Now I'm going to flip it over, so bear with me, okay? And now we're looking at, well, an inside corner that is exactly 90 degrees. So when you have to cut chair rail or baseboard or quarter or half round, you just cut it at 45. You bisect that 90 degree angle and you make your cut at 45 degrees and everything is perfect, okay? But the problem is this, seldom is this outside corner or inside corner a perfect 90 degrees. So I'm gonna show you what you do. Here we have an inside corner that's less than 90 degrees, and they call that an acute angle because it's less than 90. So this is a digital angle finder, and that's what we're going to use here. I like it because it's easy and it does a lot of the math for us. Now keep in mind that it's on zero because it's closed. It's collapsed on itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up, all right? And I'm going to snug it up against our interior wall here, all right, until I get a reading. Now, it says that it's 85 degree angle. That's what it is. It's an 85 degree angle. And in knowing that, all we have to do is bisect it. And what that means is we cut it in half because we need two pieces of wood to come together. And if we cut that in half, that's 42 and a half. So we need to cut two pieces at a 42 and a half angle to make an 85. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our miter saw and we're gonna set it to 42 and a half. It's almost there. One, two, and a half, right there. Setting our miter saw to 42 and a half. Now I'm gonna cut my piece. Here we go. Okay, so we've got our two pieces. We cut them both to 42 and a half, and that makes an 85, right? Now I'm gonna slide it in. I want you to watch this. Slide that piece in, and look. It didn't work. And there's a reason for that, okay? Uh, what I will say is most miter saws are not set up to do finished carpentry, all right? So I've taken a piece of tape, and if you notice, on the miter saw it says zero, but on the piece of tape it says 90. And that's very, very important. So what you have to remember is when the saw is set at zero, the blade is 90 degrees to the fence. That's the fence. It's at a 90 degree angle. But your saw says it's set at zero. So what you do, and what I did, was I took a piece of tape, because this will take a lot of the figuring out, and you put a 90 above the zero, a 75 above the 15, a 67.5 above the 22.5. Now keep in mind that if you add zero and 90, it's 90. 75 and 15 is 90. 67.5 and 22.5 is 90. I put a 60 above the 30, that's 90. Now we're on 45, but notice 45 is above, and that's because 45 and 45 add up to 90. And that's why when we made the first cut, it was perfect because it was lined up perfectly. But now that we're making a cut that isn't a 45, now it changes things. So what we have to do is instead of setting our saw at 42 and a half, we really have to go up and set it at 47 and a half because that is the complementary angle. Okay, I've got my two pieces of wood. Now we're gonna cut it and we're gonna set the blade at, like I said, we're gonna have to go past the 45 to 47 and a half. Okay, so that's one, that's 47 there. 
and a little past. I went a little bit past, just a little more. That's going to represent 47 and a half. Let me lock it in. Now let's make that cut. So here are our two pieces of wood that we cut. Let's do this thing. Let's just put them together like that and let's draw our wall in. So that's how you bisect an angle and finish carpentry and adjust the miter saw to make that cut in an accurate, real way. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.